I just go right there. God, I can't believe it. Oh, sorry. Sorry, new talent. I just had to do it. Your video cracked me up. It was great. Gave me a great laugh, and I'm not trying to be mad. I just had to do a little parody of that. No, I respect you. You're a good guy. You sound like a good guy, and you know what? You don't like the Giants. We don't like the Cowboys, so it's all fair there. I got respect for you. You seem like a cool guy. So I just don't take that personal or anything. Just a little parody. But it's all the Dallas fans out there. Yep. There you go. That sucks. Oh, man. Like I said, before I get to this, the battery is going to die in this camera. I don't even know if I'm going to get this video out anytime soon. So, to all my uh, friends there, everyone, please, uh, I'll, this video will be on eventually if it's not on today. But anyways, Giants, what a game. What a game. The O-line, D-line, dominated. Eli, he had a decent game. Decent game. Uh, a couple turnovers uh, that were his fault. Uh, fumble, I think Eli definitely come the game against um, Philly. He's definitely going to have to do a better job protecting that ball or we are going to be in trouble. Because if you think about it, the only plays that uh, Dallas really had were our mistakes. They run our mistakes. Um... Uh, what else? Uh, Plex uh, dropped a couple of passes. We can't have that come Philly. Um, some people were saying, is it because of the whole team chemistry and how Plex is possibly becoming the next Terrell Owens? I, I don't really think that's it. Plexico is not that kind of guy. I think he just had a bad game yesterday. Um, Boss gave him a couple more passes. He is going to be better and better as each game progresses and next year I'm expecting him to be huge maybe not next year, the year after that Steve Smith got a couple of passes in there too every day that passes Steve Smith and uh, Boss are getting more action that's really good, Brandon Jacobs <laughs> proving once again why? I gave him that nickname Brandon, better than Marion Barber Jacobs that is my nickname for him um, now the Dallas fans you could play it any way you want. You could be the little girls and make the excuses and say, oh, we're missing Tony Romo, who looked wonderful in his little cowboy jumpsuit on the sidelines. Um, you can make your excuses. But when it comes down to it, um, a guy, a cowboy fan making videos, Cowboy TD. Uh, I have a lot of respect for that guy. You guys should check out his videos. He's a true football fan, not just a biased cowboy fan. He's a true football fan. And he gave props to us. He didn't give us this whole excuse crap that we've been getting from all from Dallas and all that stuff. He says it like it is, and um, that was just the bottom line. That uh, so like give, don't give the excuses. You play with what you have. You play with what you have, and then if you're able to play with what you have and become successful, and that's signs of a great team with good depth. For example, actually the Giants were a depleted team and we made it to the Super Bowl. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to include Shockey in that. He wasn't that great um, when it came down to it and he was like a big bully on the sidelines, but he brought an energy to the team that nobody else could bring last year. Um, just like, don't use the excuses. We don't care. We won the game. It's not a W with, but Dallas had injuries. It's a W for us and that just makes it look that better on the division and I mean when Tony Romo comes back you guys have a game against Washington I'm giving the edge on that game to Washington so you guys need to watch that that's a must win for you if you lose all those divisional games two against Washington one against the Giants who knows what you'll do in the remaining games against Philly and New York but I'm back to the Giants seven and one Great win, great win going into Philly next week. And if um, we're the Road Warriors, we're the Road Warriors, I'm very confident about going into Philly. Um, I'm expecting a win. Uh, I'll get into the score later on in the week, but I'm expecting a win. We'll get into Philly hate week and all that uh, soon enough. So uh, check out for that. Um, I just want to take in this moment. I want to take in this moment. I was there. The crowd, great as always. We're all we're ratting on T.O. and the Cowboy fans. Uh, 
it's interesting. It's interesting seeing them uh, leaving. They did not look happy. I saw some guys kicking beer bottles out in the parking lot because they were so mad. It was funny. Once again, Plex, uh, no drop balls. Eli, do a better job of holding that ball in. Jacobs, keep doing what you're doing. Brandon, better than Marion Barber Jacobs. Oh, my goodness. Um, Kevin Boss, just keep getting in the ball every game. I was a little, little upset that I didn't see David Carr. Going uh, from the car to the stadium, I said that my goal for the Giants, or my expectation for the Giants, was to beat the Cowboys so hard into the ground that we got to see David Carr for a good portion of the fourth quarter. I thought Coughlin should have put him in, but nothing going there. Marion Barber, where the heck were you going? I think you had like one or two, two decent runs tops. Marion Barber. You had nothing. Marion Barber had nothing. And uh, to tech-centric, yeah. I think we run this. We run this. And uh, uh, the fans like tech-centric who um, can't insult people based on the football because that, that's where it's gotten. That's the point that has gotten you for the Dallas Cowboy fans. you got to take the personal shots. Um, yeah. We run this. That that right there. That runs this. So don't say the Cowboys run this. Because you know what they run? They run the bottom of the division. That's what they run. You guys, you know what? I'm going to be nice. You guys don't even have to share it with anybody. You can just sit there at the bottom. You have it all yourself. And then just watch out. Philly might be knocking on your door every now and then. Washington, where the heck did they come from? 6-2. and two. They got a big game tonight against the Steelers. Uh, those Giants fans are going to be... Uh, Rooting for the Steelers. We're big Steelers fans tonight. We are. We want a lot of room. Uh, we want some breathing room at the top of the NFC East. Eagles. Uh, they've won. Um, they've been on a good, good streak. I'm not sure if I see them being a big threat, unless they could win next week. But I'm pretty confident that the Giants will come on top. Once again, I'll get to that later. But, um, if the Eagles win next week against us, that's a whole other story. If the Giants win and the Redskins lose tonight and Giants win next week, oh my God, we are looking great. I want to say that we're going to get the division, but being a Giants fan has taught me to keep my mouth shut. So, um, that is about it for this. Don't worry, Cowboys, there's more coming at your way, in your direction. Um, oh, I'm very grateful to be in the Giants Mafia. They have a new member. I'm in. And I'm very happy, and I'm Looking forward to uh, supporting Big Blue in every single way possible. With so that's going to be very exciting to finally be with Giants Mafia and helping them out and going against those weird dudes over at uh, the CNS. It's going to be a good time. Good time. And Amani too. I didn't give him credit for that touchdown. Amani is my man. I love Amani. And uh, Michael Strahan was jumping into a Ford on the uh, Fox uh, NFL kickoff. That's what you call it. And, oh, yeah, check my favorites. Uh, I found it on Nicole PT's um, uh, page. Uh, top 10 Cowboy Excuses. Frank Caliendo imitates David Letterman, and it is funny. It's funny. Let's go check it out. Giants fans, I will see you later, Cowboy fans. Ha-ha, get your popcorn ready because you guys are going to need one monumental comeback if you want to beat us out for the division. One monumental comeback. So, hey, Dio, get your popcorn ready. All right. And uh, Tony, that's what we're for you. Awesome. All right, G G G G G men, Giants Mafia. See all this, all that back there. It's all one love, or one love. See you later. Peace.